let's look at the relation between consumer surplus, producer surplus and total surplus. The difference between the willingness to pay price and the market price is the consumer surplus. Likewise, sellers can sell a product at a higher price than their economic cost to produce a product. The difference between the economic cost and the market price is the producer surplus. So, consumer surplus equals to willingness to pay price, minus market price. And, producer surplus equals to market selling price, minus economic cost. To measure total economic welfare, we can add the consumer surplus to the producer surplus to arrive at the total surplus. Therefore, the total surplus equals to consumer surplus, plus producer surplus. Note that, in the above equations, for consumer surplus and producer surplus, the price paid is a common term to both. Since the price paid is a positive term in the producer surplus and a negative term in the consumer surplus, the price paid is cancelled out resulting in the following equation for total surplus. Thus, total surplus equals to willingness to pay price, minus actual purchase price, plus actual selling price, minus economic cost. Total surplus equals to willingness to pay price, minus economic cost. Economic costs refer to not only the seller's cost of materials and labor, but also the opportunity cost of the seller's time and effort. Hence, economic cost includes a normal profit. Note that, in this graph, consumer surplus equals to people's willingness to pay minus the actual market price, while producer surplus equals the market price minus the seller's economic cost of production. Hence, the total surplus equals to the total area for the consumer surplus plus the total area for the producer surplus. Here we can see, consumer surplus equals to the area above the market price and below the demand curve. While producer surplus equals to the area below the market price but above the supply curve. 